data in a spreadsheet that shows responses that people submitted to a form, let's say. We want to go ahead and look through this to make sure that nobody answered the responses twice. We could do this by scanning through the name column for duplicates, for example. But it can be kind of tricky to remember what names you've seen before. So I want to show you how you can use conditional formatting to highlight any cells that have duplicate names. So what we're going to do is create a conditional formatting rule. First, we're going to start by highlighting the column we want to format, and that's column D with the names. And then we'll open conditional formatting by going to Format and Conditional Formatting. Next, we're going to choose the Custom Formula option. We're going to format the cells if they have a custom formula. And what we want to do is we want to count how many instances of each name there are. So if any of time we have a name that appears more than one time, we know it's a duplicate. And we're going to use that using the count if formula. So we'll always start the formulas here with an equal sign. And we'll, then we'll use count if. And we want to use just column D. So we're going to use dollar sign and Ds to indicate that we're just looking at that column D. And then we want to start by looking at the value in, column, in cell D1. And it'll scroll down through and look at all of those as a function of a conditional formatting. And every time it looks for a duplicate, we want to check and see if that value is greater than 1. If it's greater than 1, we want to format it with this green background here. We could click on this option here to choose a different background if we wanted or customize it. Let's make them bold so they stick out more. And as we scroll down through here, it looks like Donna and Fred answered more than once. So if we go down through, we should see their names again. And there's Donna and there's Fred again. So using this custom formula with a count if is a really great way to quickly find those names. Another option that you could do is you could sort your data by the name column. And if you sort it alphabetically, it might be easier to find any of those duplicates, but this is a great way to show them by color quickly. If we want to use that sort option, let me show you how that works. Because this is data from a form, we need to highlight all the columns that have data from the form, and then we will go to the data menu and choose sort range. We do have a header row included in our data, so we'll check that first. We don't want those headers to be moved alphabetically around. We want them to stay at the top. That's why we select the header row. And we want to sort by the name, because if they're all alphabetized, we'll see two names that are the same next to each other more easily. We'll say sort by name and choose sort. And as we scroll down through here, you see if you've only sorted, you'll have to manually look and see if any of these names are duplicates. But with a combination of our conditional formatting using that custom formula and the alphabetical, it's very easy to see that we have duplicates here. Donna from Sociology responded twice and Fred from Mathematics responded twice. Really great ways to look for mistakes in your data with this one.